I'm Walker Iverson, and this is my Leadership Styles mini-speech. Now, there are many different kinds of leaders. There's people like Barack Obama, and there's people like Hitler. The moral fiber of these two leaders contrasts greatly, but what they have in common is that they're both great speakers, and they use their speaking ability with vastly different leadership styles. There are many different kinds of leadership styles. The quiz that we took for this class and this assignment splits them into three categories, authoritarian, democratic, and laissez-faire. Now, anyone's going to find that they're going to gravitate towards one of these, but they may be in a situation in which they use one, two, or all three of them, or they may be in a situation in which they're not going to take a leadership role at all, and that's okay. When I took this class, when I took this quiz, I was told that I was a democratic leader. Now, I think that's a very accurate assessment of the kind of leader that I am, and I use it a lot in my major. As an actor, you're going to audition, and you're going to do callbacks. And in the callbacks, you're going to be asked to read for a specific character for the director and for the auditors. And sometimes you're going to be asked to create a scene with other actors called back for different parts. This can be a tricky process because sometimes you're going to clash. So it's important to take a leadership role, and this is what I do in these kind of situations. And I listen to the other people when we read through the scene, and I try and just balance all of their energies and push them to a good final product. But it's important to realize that not only is your life, your life on the line, but the three, these other actors are too, and it's important to listen to their suggestions and where they want to drive the scene because we're all in this together. Now, sometimes I feel in a similar situation in which I need to take an authoritarian leader, leadership style. For performance classes, you're always going to have to do projects outside of class with a partner or with a group, and sometimes it'll be doing an acting scene or choreographing a dance, and sometimes you're going to get partners or group members that are really excited and you're all really excited to do the project and you're all going to um, put your collective energies together and create an amazing final product. But sometimes you get people that aren't so good at giving any kind of feedback and maybe shouldn't be in the major at all and they just really want to satisfy you and want you to do what you want to do and that can be frustrating because you're both in this together and you don't want all the pressure on you. But I've been in these situations, and it's like, this person has no idea what they're doing and maybe shouldn't be here. So you have to recognize that at that point, your grade is sometimes on the line, or your ability to get this job is on the line. And so you're just going to have to ignore the fact that these people have no constructive or helpful feedback, and you're just going to have to push forward by yourself and ignoring any, anything, any kind of suggestions that they have. Sometimes, though, I also don't like being a leader. That's not to say that I, I'm not a leader. Um, I would say that I'm attracted and fulfilled by the leadership role, but especially in theater, you'll find yourselves in group situations in which there's people that also have that overtly leader quality. And so I like to pretty much apply what I do as a democratic leader to becoming a moderator in these small group communications. As a democratic leader, what I do is I push energy and ideas from the people and I push them to a product. And what I like to do sometimes is a mediator with very strong personalities who could easily start bickering over their different ideas is I like to make sure that ideas are getting from person to person to create a product. And so as the mediator, I'm keeping those tempers down, I'm keeping everyone's ideas flowing and making sure that no one's feelings are getting hurt so that we're constructively and in an organized, efficient way getting to create a product. Like I said, there are many, many different kinds of leadership styles, and I myself have used at least two of them. The third one doesn't so much apply to me, and sometimes I even, since sometimes I even like to take a non-leadership role, and they're all helpful, and they're all reasonable roles to assume in a group. Thank you.